Python supports file handling and allows users to handle files, to read and write files along with many other file handling options. The concept of file handling has stretched over various other languages, but the implementation is either complicated or lengthy. But unlike other concepts of Python, this concept here is also easy and short. We use open function in Python to open a file in read or write mode. R for reading, W for writing, A for appending, and R plus for both reading and writing. You must keep in mind that the mode argument is not mandatory. If not passed, then Python will assume it to be R by default. Let's take a look at this program and try to analyze how the read mode works. In our folder, we have a file called bestgames.txt, which has all the best games of 2019 in PlayStation 4. Let's create a variable, we'll call it file, and this will be equal to open, and we want to open that file. So we'll say best underscore games dot txt. And the second argument here is R, which stands for read. Then we want to iterate through that file in order to print everything inside that file. So for I in file, then we want to print I. Good. So we have printed everything inside that file, which is the best games for 2019. Okay, now let's see how to create a file and how write mode actually works. So we'll create another file, we'll call it file one. This will be equal to open. And remember that open works with read and write mode. And we'll call that new file, new best games. And instead of R, we will say W, which stands for write. Once that done, as you can see on the left side of the screen, a new file has been created. Let's try to write something on that file. So say file one dot write. Forty two stands actually for the number of characters and the white spaces inside that string. But it's not our concern. The last thing we need to do is we need to close that file. And the close command terminates all the resources in use and frees the system of this particular program. And if we'll open that file, we'll find exactly what we have written inside our program.